this day and this day and it's going to be for two hours each time. Um, I don't know. I'm completely going downhill. My eating disorder is way out of control. And um, my self-injury is out of control. I wanted to give a shout out to my really, 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 really good friend, Amy. Um, I hope you don't mind I, me using your name. Uh, but I wanted to let you know that <coughs> I just got your text messages and I just sent you text messages back. And if I could have went to the doctors with you, darling, I definitely would have. Um, I want you to know that I'm thinking of you and that you're not alone. multitasking, filming, texting. I know it's very dangerous. Don't do it. Do not do this. Do not try this at home, children. So, um, anyways, what I was saying is, Amy, I, I, I love you and I care about you. And please know that, like, you're so not alone and that if you need anything or, you know, um, please let me know, and, you know, I know that, like, you know, I obviously can't just hop on a plane and come see you, otherwise I would. If I had the money, I would do it in a heartbeat. I just want you to know that I'm thinking of you, so this is a shout out to you, Amy. I love you, and I want you to know that I care about you, so don't forget that, okay? Got it? Got it? I know you're like, done like a while ago and um, I, I, I'm scared okay and I have to find an OBGYN because the one that I used to have doesn't work there anymore 
So I have to find an OBGYN and I'm petrified. I'm petrified, okay? They keep finding this damn thing on my ovary. It's not going away. It's been there for like two months now, maybe even longer. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. There's the chicken, guys. Isn't that weird? It's so weird. That guy is strange. But anyway, um, <laughs> I'm getting off on track here. I'm just going to get coffee. I know I'm all over the map right now. But I was going to go get coffee, but I have to go up to see my grandmother anyway at the hospital. So I'm just going to do that uh, when I go up to see my grandma because it's on the way there it's kind of there's no point of me going all the way that way when I don't have to go that way you know what I mean I know you feel me um so like I said I'm just struggling like in so much and um I don't want to have this stupid biopsy done like I'm petrified and it's obviously like something more than just a cyst because it's not going away I've had it for months now, and um, I don't know, it just won't go away. It's scary because, like, cancer has cancer runs in my family, so a lot of my family members have had cancer and actually still do. Like, my grandfather has um, cancer, and um, my mom battled this huge thing with uh, her ovaries. So I'm just scared. I'm really scared. So I have to call around and look for a gynecologist to go to. And that's always very, very hard for me. Like, huh, sometimes I just wish I wasn't a girl because, like, you know, we have to go to the gynecologist. And I mean, if you were sexually abused, you know, I'm sure that you guys know that it's hard to have somebody like examining you down there whether it's a girl or a guy for me it doesn't matter whether it's a girl or a guy I still freak out um, I was sexually abused by my dad and um, by uh, actually like a couple of the people too and um, we almost got into a car accident guys well I did but you guys were with me, so we, we would have just died with me. <laughs> um, I know I'm ranting and raving, but I just want to make sure I have enough time yet. So then today, my therapist decides to, to um, talk about my eating disorder and how much weight that I've lost and blah, 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 blah. And, okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about my eating disorder now, which can be triggering. So if it's triggering and please either fast forward it or don't watch it. So, um, red flag, red flag, it could trigger. Red, 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 red. <laughs> Everything red, everything's red, so that means like stop if you're easily triggered. So basically all I've been eating is pretzels. I eat 37 pretzels because it equals 110 calories. And I use a little thing of mustard as well. Now, I get really upset, like, I have to have them on a styrofoam plate, and I have to have exactly 37 of them because I know then how many calories I'm, I'm eating. And I'll eat them at nighttime. It's usually, you know, it's usually between, um, it's usually like between 7 and 8 o'clock. I know the camera's very low right now, but there's cops everywhere, so I just want to be careful. Um, it's usually between 7 and 8 o'clock that I'll eat these pretzels. I don't know. I really don't know what to do anymore. Like, it's like a fucking battle. You know, it's a huge, huge battle. And I know you guys know this, but like, it has, I've just restricted so much that I'm just down to pretzels. That's all. All I'm eating is pretzels living on coffee and I know it's bad for me but I just don't know what else to do and then like I feel bad about myself for eating those stupid pretzels so then I wind up cutting I don't know I just don't know what to do about anything anymore like and I even told my therapist 
therapist that everything is just so out of control. I feel like I have no control over anything because I kind of don't have like any control over anything anymore. And I'm still sick, you know, and I don't want to go for a biopsy. Thank you for letting me rant for almost uh, 11 minutes. I love you guys. I'm thinking of you all. And to Vivi, I love you. Be strong, darling. Know that you're not alone. And if you need me for anything before you decide to make a wrong decision, please text me or call me, okay? Peace and love and um, know that I'm thinking of you all and um, keep having the prayers for my grandma and pray now for me that this biopsy is going to go well cause, and that it's not cancerous because if it's cancerous I don't know what, I don't know what I'm going to do I'm going to freak out I know that alright peace I love you all.